Um, at this time, I'd like to invite Sasha Soboloff to the stage. Um, Sasha is, serves as the Alaska Native Brotherhood Grand Camp President. We all know that the Grand Alaska Native Brotherhood and Sisterhood is the foundation of many of our tribal organizations, our corporations, the fine work that they've done in their early years and still continue to do as they address some of the um, get out the native vote and some of the political challenges that are in each of our communities. So Sasha Soboloff, I saw him earlier. There he is, great. As he's coming to the stage, I wanna also once again recognize Sasha, um, as well as Ross, both for you know, um, their father, Walter Soboloff, so many of us, was so dear to many of our hearts. But he was like a, one of those personal mentors to me. Um, I have many letters and memories of him and his, word, give, his words of wisdom as he helped to uh, mentor many leaders across Southeast Alaska. And, um, it's, you can see the leadership that he instilled into the next generation through his sons. So thank you, Gunas Chish. Good afternoon. As they say in the 21st century, we are live and on the air. Welcome to each of you listening to the live stream. Welcome to each of you who have taken the time from your busy lives to be part of this wonderful annual meeting that is called Sea Alaska. And welcome you, most especially, the esteemed matriarchs of our society who have granted us permission to come and hold and walk among them here in Ketchikan. Usually, the greeting goes like this. Madam Grand President, Emeritus Mary Jones, Madam Grand President, Johanna Dibdahl, ANS Executive Committee members, ANS officers, a and B, Grand President Emeritus Nelson Frank, a and B Grand Officers, and most especially the young people of our organization. My, how time has taken its fine thread of love and wrapped us together. For that is the way the Alaska Native Brotherhood, who has now been in existence for 104 years, has wrapped itself around Sea Alaska in its 34th shareholder meeting. And it's done so because of the nature of our culture. For one part of it, our younger stepchild goes after and provides jobs and money in this 21st century. But they come from an organization that does much more than that. For the Alaska Native Sisterhood and the Alaska Native Brotherhood, we are a matriarchal society. The a &B can do what it wants, it can do and Take all the mouthpieces that you can, but if the truth be known, when the sisterhood reaches in their purse and pulls out a dollar, now you know who has the power. So in this endeavor, please allow me on behalf of my mother Genevieve from How Can, my father, Dr. Walter Sobolev from Kilisnu, and my two younger brothers, Walter and Ross, and of course, last but not least, our older sister, thank God, there's only one. 
for bringing this opportunity to greet and address you. Gunas Chis for being able to come before you and say, here's what our organizations stand for. We stand for this land that we sit on and walk on. We stand for the right to provide foods for our families and our children. Never forget that. They want to take it, but it's not going to happen. Our organizations also stand for education. It's interesting that the Brotherhood has been on record for one singular mission for 104 years. It's called education. And in this day and age, when they're cutting back, state says, well, we're running a little short. We kind of messed up on our finances. I got up and stood in front of the finance committee and said, just a minute. As the president, grand president of the Alaskan Indian Brotherhood, I don't remember saying that our educational rights were going to be subject to anyone's cut, much less the state. You need to rethink that. Because if you cut, it puts us further away. In our 21st century, we have mining and transboundary issues that are going on with the Taku Rivers, with the Sakine Rivers, with the Alsac Rivers, and those rivers that flow between Canada and Alaska. For a while, they could do anything they wanted on the other side of the border. It didn't make any difference how they polluted and killed our fish stocks. No more. No more. And more importantly, our forefathers fought for the right for us to go and submit our desires on a ballot. And to cast your ballot for those issues and those people who could speak for you. And we are indebted forever for that ability. But that does not mean we can sit back and not vote. You have to vote. And lastly, in your daily lives, as you read your Bible, as you say your prayers to our Heavenly Father, Your leaders must speak on behalf of those grandmas and grandpas, those aunts and uncles, those children, those grandchildren, those grandchildren-to-be who have no voice. You must become that voice. And I encourage you on behalf of the Alaska Native Brotherhood and the Alaska Native Sisterhood to come and be active. Of the 18 sets of officers that I've installed since becoming Grand President, 18 sets of Grand Officers, 80% of them have been under the age of 30. Whoa. Under the age of 30 now. 30 is an okay age. But to have the young people stepping forward, which is what we were trained to do, is something that is like a tsunami overtaking us. And I wanted to have an opportunity at the shareholders meeting to speak and to thank C. Alaska, who you may not know set aside an endowment fund to fund the activities of the Alaska Native Brotherhood and Sisterhood. And they've done so religiously for 43 years. And at no time have we ever said back to them, because they come and report in the convention, thank you. Gunasachish. Gunasachish. 
going to choose for putting the dollar so that we can continue the fight for our cause. And if you take something away today from this meeting, take the flame that needs to come alive in you to become that voice for your children and grandchildren. Speak up when something's not right. Make them pay attention to you because outside of this room in the large society, they really don't care. But you know what? They won't care unless you speak out. They won't care unless you suddenly change what you're doing so that it can be an improvement for your children and your tribe and your organization. So please take that prayerfully. And on behalf of the Alaska Native Brotherhood and Sisterhood to see Alaska, gonna cheese for your continued financial efforts for allowing us to carry out and make our relationship better as we step into the future. Gunas Chish, Hawa Gunas Chish.